the Biden administration clearly isn't worried at all about the crisis at the southern border. I don't think they're paying attention to it at all. This is proof by the fact that Joe Biden is now heading to St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands for some sun, rest, and relaxation. Meanwhile, gangs and human traffickers not only have free run of the border, they basically control it as they're profiting heavily, fueling their criminal enterprise. But they're not only taking over the Texas border, Arizona is also in this crisis and crosshairs. This month alone, customs officials at a single port of entry in the state of Arizona, in Nogales, seized roughly 2 million fentanyl pills. Last month, that very same port of entry seized more than 3 million fentanyl pills. And of course, that's just what CBP was able to detect. The full extent of the drug trafficking and human trafficking that's occurring and the consequences on our country, especially through our border in Arizona, this is almost impossible to measure. Our government, both Democrats and Republicans, have clearly failed to secure our borders, either because they just don't care about the American people, our security, or our country, or they're totally incompetent. Mexico, certainly not doing anything to secure its own borders and keep people from entering our country. They're essentially a narco state that is controlled by and facilitating these cartels, who are the ones who are winning in all of this. And so the result is that, like Texas, Arizona is also experiencing an unprecedented wave of illegal migration. But keep in mind, the impact doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop at our border states, because they're just way stations for this surge of Ill illegal migration that, frankly, is impacting every state across the country. Now, the Daily Caller's Jorge Ventura was at the Yuma border in the middle of the night just before Christmas. Here's some disturbing footage of what he saw. We are approaching four in the morning here in Yuma, Arizona. This is the current scene. We're seeing a massive line here of migrants from all over the world, from Russia, Peru, Brazil, Colombia, Cuba. This is one of the more sophisticated human smuggling operations. And this once again shows, we're taking here this massive line here. This is once again shows the amount of control the Mexican drug cartels have on this border. Secretary Mayorkas continues to say that the border is closed and this massive line shows different. Ali Bradley of News Nation reported today that she saw more than 400 migrants cross into Yuma this morning alone. Now, many of them, she said, are from Moldova, Russia, and Cuba. And according to Bradley, quote, one Moldovan man told us he took an Uber from Tijuana to this drop-off point. And he says he was told the border is open. Now, as Jorge Ventura found, human smugglers have received that message loud and clear. Ventura confirmed that many young people are being brought to the border by human smugglers. So there we actually have the human smuggler. He's uh, trying to flash his light to my camera and block us from filming him. He was actually calling me out yesterday for uh, filming him here yesterday and he's bringing another big group here. But that's why he's using that stroke to block me from getting his face this time as he's, he's actually taking money payments right now. Officials in Arizona say they're not getting any help from the federal government in deterring this illegal migration and human trafficking. In fact, the Biden administration has successfully pressured Arizona to stop using shipping containers that they put up as makeshift barriers to keep illegal migrants out. Now, Governor-elect Katie Hobbs has also vowed to stop using these containers as blockades. In just a moment, we're going to speak to Mark Daniels, the sheriff of Cochise County, about the fight over those very shipping containers. But first, we're going to go to the Daily Caller's Jorge Ventura, who shot the footage from Arizona that we just showed you. Uh, Jorge, you are exposing the lie that the Biden administration is telling us about how the borders are secure and closed. Tell us what's happening on the ground right now. Yeah, and Yuma, Arizona is one of the more uh, sophisticated human operations that I've reported. I've been reporting in South Texas, California, and Arizona. But in Yuma, what makes it particularly interesting is around 2 in the morning on the Mexican side, you'll see a massive wave of vehicle traffic. Uh, after the uh, migrants are dropped off, you'll see four or five human smugglers guide these migrants. We're talking about hundreds of migrants from all over the world. So I got to meet migrants from uh, Russia, Afghanistan, uh, Bolivia, Peru, Brazil, Cuba. They're, they're being smuggled in the middle of the night, hundreds 
overwhelming Border Patrol officials. Uh, and luckily, we were able to track down one of those human smuggling routes, get the smugglers on camera. What makes this actually more interesting, Tulsi, is how brazen these smugglers are, w walking on American soil and taking payments as they continue to smuggle hundreds. And after we caught the smuggler on camera, he couldn't care less. He just returned to the Mexican side and continued bringing groups. And it just overwhelms uh, Border Patrol officials on the, on the Yuma side. There was actually one point where it was around 6 in the morning. I was staring at a group of 300 migrants with no Border Patrol agents to apprehend them or process them because they have to attend to other areas. And it's just been a complete mess and disaster. And right now, the Mexican cartels have full control of the U.S. border. I know Secretary Mayorkas like to say the border is secure. Uh, it is absolutely not. It's a different story on the ground. Uh, Jorge, thanks so much for, for showing people exactly what's really happening at the border, because if you watch the mainstream media, you listen to the Biden administration in Mayorkas, they are blatantly lying to us. And what you've just shown us again is who is actually in control at the border. It's those who are profiting the most, these, these cartels and human traffickers. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.